Okay, so paintbrush time. As you can see, I've got an image in my background. Paintbrush is a really great tool to use if you are tracing an image and you want to have that sort of sketchy illustrated effect, but you want to make sure that you get it right. So you don't necessarily want to freehand it. So I can draw over this image, but I need to make sure that I have a new layer. Because what happens if I draw on this image? Is I'll just show you. Let's get rid of this for now. Um, okay, so I've got my brush tool. I'm just going to size it down. And I'm going to draw just a little scribble over this image. Now what happens is I cannot remove my drawing from the image. It's stuck onto the image. It is exactly how it would work in real life. If you drew on an image, you can't take it off. And if I use my eraser tool to try and rub it off, what happens is, let me just make that a bit bigger, what happens is I rub out the entire image, which is not what I want either. So I must make sure that if I want to trace over a picture and I don't want the drawing connected to the picture, that I make a new layer. I'm going to call it Drawing 1. So now that I'm on my new layer, I can trace over my image or draw over my image. Obviously, you wouldn't normally do scribbles, but anyway, this is just a quick tutorial. Now I can move my drawing off my image and I can even click on my image and delete my image so that I just have the drawing left. Usually you would have a nice illustration left, not this scribble. So I'm just going to get rid of that, undo that for now. So in the paintbrush settings, things you really need to know about are this setting up here. So if you just click on the down arrow next to the circle and the number, you'll see all these different settings that you can have a play around with. There are all sorts of different brushes that you can use to get different effects. But the one that I would use most is the hard round brush, which is for good for tracing and everything like that. And um, here is where you can also play around with the size of the brush. And you can have a play around with all the other settings as well. You can also download brushes. Um, for free online if you find any that you in particular would like to use. Anyway, so the other thing you can do in terms of sizing up your brush is you can use the little square bracket symbol on your keyboard. The uh, left one makes it smaller and the right one makes it bigger. Okay, and that's an easy little quick key. Um, opacity is quite self-explanatory so basically makes your paintbrush um, more opaque so 18% and then 100% let's see the difference let's see so if you wanted like a, a line that kind of still shows the background you would probably make it a percentage of opacity lower okay um, flow it's not something you really need to worry about it doesn't really affect too much but you could have a play around with it smoothing wouldn't worry about as well um, this tool here is quite a cool tool so it, it means you can draw symmetrically in your image so if you're doing some sort of funky illustration where you don't want to muck around trying to copy and paste the two sides and then flip them to make them symmetrical you can actually place one of these so you can use the the little bounding box to click and drag to make sure it fits your picture um, you hold down shift to drag it to the right place cool 
and then you click your paintbrush tool and now if I just size down my paintbrush a little bit I can draw whatever I want and that will be symmetrical okay you might do a much better design than this though um cool so that tool is really cool to use if you want to get rid of this line because you want to freestyle again you just need to make sure that you click up here and you click symmetry off there are lots of different options that you can try out let's uh just have a go with the circle one for now let's go over this plane so make, oh, make that a little bit smaller perfect click the paintbrush tool oh that's going crazy anyway so you can have a play around with those tools and um have a play around with the paintbrush the last thing you need to know is that if you want to change the color of your paintbrush all you need to do is go into your color column over here click the color you want and then it should come up awesome have a play around with that tool